All right, can I just say that OnePlus is clearly taking their new beginnings seriously? Because yes, we have some full-blown leaks of the OnePlus Nord's design and even some very, very cool cases that remind me of something else. More and more details emerge of Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked, and hey, we're not complaining. And the first public beta of iOS 14 is out, and you should definitely get it. I'm Jaime Rivera, and dear Google, are you writing this down? Because first you get schooled over how to launch a flagship, and now you're also getting schooled over how to launch a budget phone. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. This one is huge. But there's a catch. Right now you can get the brand new iPhone SE for as low as 120 bucks at Best Buy. But uh, well, you have to get it on a 24 month installment plan on Sprint, which will be merging with T-Mobile soon. And it also has to be on a new phone line. So if you could qualify to that, then fine. It's a huge catch, but it's kind of a huge deal as well. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus is still $200 off, leaving the entry-level variant for $999 shipped, but it comes with the US warranty, so that's the reason why you should care. The regular S20 is also $150 off, leaving it at $850 shipped. And finally, the Garmin Vivo More S3, where'd they get these names, is $50 off, leaving it at $200 shipped. And then we got more deals on Apple keyboards and Belkin charging docks for those of you planning on buying the iPhone 12, all in the links in the description. Now, can I just say, dear Canon, welcome back in like forever. I mean, for those of you that didn't know, we actually started this show in 2012 with a Canon T3i, back when Canon was amazing at video. But then they dropped the ball, and even if they did adopt 4K eventually, pretty much like five years after everybody else did. It included a horrible crop or it had just so many issues. But now, now times have changed. Now I actually want a Canon one more time because their photography is amazing and we just wanted that color science and video. But I mean real video. The company just launched their new flagship 45 megapixel EOS R5 camera. Yes, it costs 3,899 bucks, but listen to this. This camera is capable of recording 8K at 12-bit RAW, and also with a new in-body stabilization in addition to their class-leading dual pixel autofocus. Oh, and did I also mention that it records 4K at 120 frames per second, and that it brings an articulated LCD? All right, I'm just gonna say it. My buddy David Kogan, The Unlocker, which I highly recommend you subscribe to, has always said that Blackmagic cameras are a poor man's red. But this is what I call a poor man's red because, I mean, come on, it's full frame. There's just, there's just no way. Like, for that price, I want one. All right, and let's now move the spotlight over to Google and its Android 11 beta. As I've been testing it, I've been loving it. I did a video on the Pixel and how it's revived my desire to use it mainly because of that, and it keeps getting better. Public beta 2 is already available, and uh, even if we don't have a launch date for the final software, Mountain View just uh, leaked it pretty much. Google released a video titled Works with Hey G, and you know what I mean with that, Smart Home Summit APAC, and it revealed through a checklist that Android 11 will be officially released on September 8th. Now, Android Authority reports that Google reached out to them and said that it was an error. But if you follow Android Authority's track record, yes, they have a very close relationship with Google. They're really good friends of mine as well. And uh, well, at least we get a close idea as to when to expect it. September is not that bad. And speaking of betas, yes, iOS 14 is now in public beta. Finally, actually public beta 2, which is rather interesting. And can I just say, I've been testing it, and I have the impression that it's like if Apple prepared iOS 14 a long time ago, the capability of widgets was always there, and the company was just taking its sweet time for reasons we don't understand. And the reason why is because I've used it for two hours, and it works like a charm. iOS 14 brings a bunch of improvements, like the widgets that I've mentioned, picture in picture, and a new Apple Translate application, new privacy features like showing you when an application is using your microphone or your camera, and more. You can check our WWDC video, which we'll link for more specific details on it. If you want to sign up, there's another link in the description with instructions on pocketnow.com on how to download it. iPad OS 14 is also available. Watch OS is also supposed to be available, but not really. The link is currently grayed out, but there are a ton of tweaks you should consider, though sadly in the case of iPadOS, 
widgets still only work on landscape. You can't throw them on the icons. I really don't know what the point is. We'll keep you posted. I expect the video coming soon over what the real experience is. Now let's talk about certifications, but don't worry, it's not gonna be boring because it actually has everything to do with what's gonna go on at Galaxy Unpacked, we think. Now, for example, we've got specifications for the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, and according to the report, this product is gonna be no chump. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 865 Plus, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, and a 10,090 milliamp hour battery that also supports 45 fast charging. And you know, Samsung tablets, they've never been great about specs. It'll also bring 5G connectivity, but apparently only supporting sub six bands. And it seems that it'll also pack dual cameras at the back in addition to an 120 Hertz display. Now, moving on to another certification, the Galaxy Buds X or Buds Live just went through the FCC as well, revealing the dimensions and the fact that they will weigh around five grams they have this bean shape as they're meant to go inside your ears like the buds plus and will reportedly cost 140 dollars to undercut the airpods pro while they bring active noise cancellation now the interesting part is that some of the leaks hint to this launching along with the galaxy watch uh, or galaxy watch active two three no it would be the three july 22nd not necessarily for unpacked so stay tuned we'll keep you posted and finally, the hottest news today have to do with the company that is once again disrupting how you launch a phone. We saw with the OnePlus One where they had this invitation system because they just did not have enough demand. Now the company is hinting to the pre-orders selling out in seconds, and we get to see more about what to expect for this phone, and it's it's kind of hot. This time the leaks don't come from OnePlus. The first one is a couple of pictures posted by none other than Evan Blass showing the phone off in the black color variant. We get to see the quad camera array at the back along with the dual punch hole at the front, pretty much confirming the leaks and the teaser we saw earlier. The second image also comes from Evan, now showing off the cases which will apparently be made by three different artists. The first two come from a Swedish artist called Camilla Armstrong and Finsta. And then the third one is from none other than our buddy Zach over at Jerry Rig Everything. Dude, good for you, I love it. Uh, I wonder, I mean, this is a teardown design, so yeah, it looks really cool from the leaks, but let us know in the comments down below. I mean, let us know what you think about what OnePlus is doing with this new beginnings campaign. Do you think this is a smart way to launch a phone? Because I'm gonna say something, if this phone is priced the way they're saying it's gonna be priced, and it brings everything that it brings. I mean, this is the way you do it, man. I mean, every company should feel proud of their phones, regardless if it's a flagship or not. And I think that OnePlus is doing justice to their roots with what they're doing, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me. Fine, I need to, I need to stop saying things about Google and how I feel about the Pixel 4a. But anyways, please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.